Trying to get it like, uh, can't get it like on the west side, bringing out my best side Where they only care about bitches and how big they breast size is Yes I is, on the come up there and all of y'all to run up Cause you know I'm finna win a motherfucker, uh Pull up in the bins where I always smoking medical Only bring your friends if them bitches look identical The pinnacle of what we doing ain't nowhere around Start off from the ground, always gotta hold it down Now they think they got it cause they sign up on the data But there's only so much money in the year that is allotted Plus you probably don't even know how it is divided Motherfucker, I got it. it. Trying to get it like me. Can't get it like me. Trying to get it like. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Brianne Lane. And I'm back after like an entire year of nothingness on this channel. <laughs> I know I've been gone from YouTube since I did the video about um, Massive Fashion Week back in November of last year, November 2016. I just had an interesting and wonderful year. Yeah, like I, I don't, I can't remember the actual date that I posted that video, but it was long after Massive Fashion Week had actually gone down. So um, it was a pretty late video getting up. And at the time when I made that video, um, I was, I couldn't handle uh, the negativity. I left YouTube because. Every video I put up had, like, it, they did, wouldn't have very many views at all, but they would have all of these negative comments, and I have a very short temper, and I freak out on people via social media sometimes, and, like, that was just sucking the life out of me. I, I was just deleting comments all the time, and... I don't think I was equipped emotionally enough for YouTube <laughs> when I started YouTube. I was in the middle of a lot of change. I I had just gotten into a new relationship with my now fiance, Antonio, and I was changing as a person. I was doing some growing up. I was learning some lessons, and I'm glad that I did not put myself out there on YouTube during that process because it was ugly and I mean I'm still growing and I'm still learning but I'm glad I gave myself a chance to transform and become a person that I liked much better before broadcasting that person out on YouTube. <laughs> um, so I started dating Antonio and I actually ended up getting pregnant. <laughs> we found out that I was pregnant in January of this year. And we were so excited and like it was just perfect. Like I fell in love and then I was going to have my true love baby. <laughs> and this is both of our first kid, so it was a great experience to be able to experience that together for the first time. Um, then in May, we went to see my brother, my little brother Deron, graduate, graduate from NYU. So the whole family went to New York, and Antonio came with us. And um, like everybody always graduates the week of my birthday, and my brother was graduating on my birthday. And after graduation, my boyfriend Antonio got down on one knee and proposed to me <laughs> in front of the whole family. And it was like a seriously magical experience. Like um, the NYU graduation was at, um, or the ceremony that we went to was at Radio City Music Hall. And when everyone when it was all over and everyone was going outside, we were all just kind of standing around waiting for my brother to stop talking to his friends. And Antonio gets down on one knee, and I'm like. Oh my god, what is he doing? What is he doing? What are you doing? <laughs> and I started crying and it was just so perfect. And then on top of that, Spike Lee's daughter was graduating with my brother. So he was there outside while Antonio was proposing to me. And he stopped and was like, oh, I love young love. And he stopped to take a picture with us. And it was great. So we got a picture with Spike Lee in New York on my birthday at my brother's graduation and I got engaged. It was just like a magical five days we were there. Um, so my year has been crazy in, 
amazing. And I mean, I'm glad that I got to experience all this without having the burden of trying to get it all on film for YouTube and vlogging. And it's just, that would have been a lot. Um, I've grown up a lot in this past year. I've learned a lot about myself and I'm slowly but surely learning how to be a good wife and a good mother. I have a good example, thank God. My mother, she's a great, she's a great mom. I, I freaking love my mommy. So I hope I can be, or I hope I can like learn to be as good of a mother as she is. Um, and you know, this past year, getting close to Antonio has helped me to also get closer to my family. I was kind of estranged from my family for, I'd say like 10 years. And, barely ever talked to them and ever since I met Antonio I don't know what it is about him but he helped me reconnect with my family and he helped me figure out that I needed them and I'm so grateful to him for that. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, in 2017 I also became a little antisocial by choice, in, it's in a good way. Um, like, when I started dating Antonio, all of my friends, or a lot of my friends, most of my friends, like, I'd say 99% of my friends, they turned their backs on me because the relationship I was in before him, like, it was a long lasting toxic relationship. And from the outside, I don't think anybody really knew that including our friends. They, I don't think they really understood like the level of toxicity that our relationship was. I was I think we were just in a relationship for the sake of being in a relationship. Like both of us maybe were just scared of being alone or I don't know. So but I'm glad that that did not spill over into my future. But my friends they they took her side and not took her side like because a lot of my friends were friends with my ex-girlfriend for years before I even moved back to Denver so uh, I mean after we break up who are they gonna be loyal to I can't really couldn't really expect them to be loyal to me because that's not fair um, I was the new girl in town when I met all of them so kind of makes sense um, but I, like, because of that, I, I, I've been mourning the loss of friendships all of 2017, and I've kept to myself pretty much. I, I got betrayed by a friend, and it really hurt me and really burned me. But um, I learned a big lesson in that friendship. She was actually. Um, boss at my internship and turns out she wasn't really for me at all so I still get emotional because I'm still a little I'm still really hurt about it but that's what this year was for I've been keeping to myself because I learned that not everybody is always for you and I learned that I need to figure out how to be dope on my own like I have Antonio but he lets me shine and I love that about him he, he wants me to shine he encourages it um, so a lot of lessons learned in 2017 while I was away from YouTube it's all for the best so I'm really really hopeful for the future I hope that I can grow this YouTube channel um, we can do more YouTube um, makeup tutorials. We can do more like comedy videos. I don't know. I did a video about black girl magic being racist before and I could do more like social justice type videos like that. I hope I kind of figure out what niche I'm in and kind of stay in that lane. Um, I hope that in this next year I can expand my business as a makeup artist. I just started doing that a couple of months ago. Um, 
like I've always been into makeup of course but I literally just a few months ago decided that I should start doing people's makeup and practicing so that I can like I've always wanted to be a makeup artist I've like I I had a vision board when I was 13 years old on my wall and I just never pursued it and I never thought to actually start pursuing it until a couple of months ago I don't know what it was that made the light bulb go off in my head dummy you've always wanted to be an MUA uh just do it I don't know but I think it was Antonio actually yeah Antonio asked me why didn't I just want to be a makeup artist I love doing makeup so much I love doing it on other people and I was just like I don't know what's wrong with me why am I not a makeup artist so um, I've been doing that for the past couple of months it's been really a cool experience um, so I'm hoping that over this next year that I can accomplish all of my goals um, and I hope I can learn from my mistakes and make my life even doper than it already is right now like life is so so great like my little boy he was born in September my son is the light of my life and he inspires me to do so much more with my life like when you have a baby you you kind of are faced with your own mortality I don't know if that makes sense you kind of think about your own death when you, when you give life so it's kind of motivated me to do more with the life that I have my dad has always told me that everybody's gravestone has their birth date their death date in that dash in the middle and what really matters at the end of the day at the end of your life is what you did with that dash and I now that I'm, I'm 28 years old I want to do great things I want to change the world I mean hopefully I'm well I mean I'm gonna make first I'm gonna make a plan that is always key writing down the goals that you want to accomplish and then figuring out the applicable what's the word yeah applicable or how you can <laughs> what steps you can take to actually reach those goals make sure that your goals are reachable so that's what I'm gonna be doing over the next couple weeks is figuring out what I want to accomplish in 2018 how I'm gonna accomplish it in 2018 um, and then we're just gonna execute we only got a week or two left of December it's time to get the ball rolling so thanks for watching if you like what you see go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're down to watch more videos of me getting my shit together.